In this video, I'm going to show you how to add new output styles and filters to EndNote. Sometimes you'll have a situation where the publisher wants you to use a new style that isn't currently in your version of EndNote or a database has changed and you need a new filter. If this happens, you can go to www.endnote.com to get files to download and update yourself. So let's head on over and see what we can find. Here we are at endnote.com and we're going to look at the style download. I'll just click there and you can search by style or journal name. Uh, today we're going to look for the Vancouver style. Just click on apply to search. And we're going to choose the Vancouver NIH style. And as you can see, it was updated this July 2014. So just click on download and save. Once you've saved it, just double click on it to install. Very simple. Right now it's installed. You don't have to click save or do anything else. Just click on the lower X to close. If you want to confirm that it's actually been installed, you can go to Edit, Output Styles, Open Style Manager, and then scroll to the bottom to Vancouver. Just going to click on Vancouver so I can see the details. And you'll notice at the bottom the date is now August 14, 2014. So this is the latest version of the Vancouver style. And that's all you have to do. Very straightforward. This time we're going to investigate filters. So again, download filters. And this time the filters are listed by information provider. That's the company that produces uh, the database that you're interested in. In our case, I'm going to look up Ovid. They make uh, several databases that we use in the library, namely Medline, CINAHL, and PsycInfo. So I clicked Apply, and I'm just going to scroll down until I find PsycInfo, updated in 2013. Again, I'm going to click Download. and I'm going to save the file. This time I'm going to do something a bit different. Instead of double clicking right away, I'm going to rename the file. So I've added the word test. And as you can see, it's up at the top where it says name. Site Info Ovid SP Test. Again, just close it in the corner. To confirm, you can just go to Edit, Import Filters, and Open Filter Manager. And now I'm going to scroll down to Site Info. And I'm going to see that there are now two. Psych Info Ovid SP files. I'm 
So you can see there's Ovid SP and the new one we just made, Ovid SP test. So if you don't want to destroy the original file, uh, you can just do it that way. So um, that's all I have for today. And if you have any questions about installing your own um, output styles or filters, uh, please do contact the library.